Did you sleep? Very comfortably, thanks. Where are we? In the Marcuria Harbor. But there are barely any ships here. I do not know why. We must leave you here. We have other business. Carry your wave into the future, April. Whatever that means, I'll try. Where did all the ships go? They're gone. This can't be a good sign. I mean, duh. The city looks strangely quiet and deserted. And the sky... Those are not ordinary clouds. They look more like... Like smoke. What's going on here? I know that sound. that shift to open just in time. It has to be Cortez. Finally. Hello? Anybody there? Who's there? It's just me. April, it's good to see you again. Father Raul, where is Cortez? I thought he'd be here. I haven't seen Cortez for a week, and it worries me. He usually stops by once every few days. When did you last see Cortez? It must have been... I think it was last Sunday. Exactly one week today. He's been gone longer than that before, but this time I... What? This time, I have a feeling there's something wrong. I don't like that feeling. Is there anything you're not telling me, Father Raul? I don't know what you, uh... Yes, you do. You're no ordinary priest. You know about Stark and Arcadia, about the balance, and I'm sure you know a lot more about Cortez than you're willing to let on. How did you... I heard you and Cortez talking last Sunday, and it scares me. And pisses me off to think that you're using me, that you're keeping things from me. I thought for sure that I could trust Cortez, but as it turns out, I can't. I was hoping to confront him with this, but he's not around and you... You're part of it too, aren't you? April, you have to trust me when I tell you. Sorry, I can't trust anybody anymore. There's so much at stake and I... I don't know who to trust, Father. Please, tell me what you know. I'm sorry, April. I mean, I'm sorry you don't feel like you can trust anyone anymore, and I'm sorry that I don't know more than I do. But I will try to answer your questions honestly and openly as much as I can. Who is Cortez? What do you mean? The way people react when I mention his name, the fact that he seems to have been alive for a very long time, and that he knows as much as he does. Who is he? <laughs> it's funny, but I've been asking that very same question myself many, many times. Who is this man? He's old, yes, and powerful. He has strong magic, but he rarely lets on exactly how strong he is. He prefers to be considered eccentric, crazy even. They are both excellent disguises. You still haven't answered my question about Cortez. That's because I cannot answer. I just don't know. He found me when I first came here. You see, I'm not just a Catholic priest. I'm also a sentinel, a minstrel. You're a minstrel? Yes. Do you find that strange? How can you belong to two religions at the same time? Belief in the balance and belief in God are not mutually exclusive. 
The Sentinel Order was founded on the basis of protecting the balance, not to worship a higher power. As long as our devotion to whatever God we believe in doesn't conflict with our duty to the balance and vice versa, who is to say we can't work in the best interest of both? I guess. I just always thought of the Sentinel as its own faith. It is a faith, but a faith in something less than God, yet more than magic or the laws of nature. The balance was created by someone, was it not? I don't know. Nor do I. But I believe. I have faith. That's enough. What did you mean when you said Cortez found you? One day, he came to visit me here. He knew who I was, that I was a minstrel, and that I was devoted to restoring the balance as well as to my guide. We soon became good friends. He was very worried about the imminent collapse of the balance, yet told me that he was waiting for someone special, someone who might be able to help us. Me? Yes. He waited for a long time for you to show up, and when you did, it was hard for him trying to convince you that he wasn't crazy. I guess his disguise was too good. I don't know much more than that. Cortez tells me very little, only that you're the key to the survival of the balance. I can only assume that you're the new guardian? That's what I've been told. Not by Cortez, of course. No. I understand your frustration, but I cannot help you any more than I have. If there's anything, anything at all. Thanks, Father. But you've done enough. It feels like I've done nothing. But God be with you. And the balance, too. How did you become a Sentinel Minstrel? The Sentinel are not numerous and stark. Not yet. Not with a vanguard, the Church of Voltec keeping a watchful eye and striking down anyone who dares to proclaim their faith in the balance. But the Sentinel are here, and when they find someone who they believe will be sympathetic to their cause, they approach them. That's what happened to me. They asked you to join? No. They told me the truth. I was studying theology at the time, and I found scriptures that challenge conventional wisdoms made me question the validity of my faith. But once I learned the truth about the balance and the guardian and the ongoing war with the vanguard, it became easier to believe in God again because now things made sense. And so, in the end, I chose to become not only a priest, but a minstrel, and I don't regret my decision. Have you ever been to Arcadia? No, I'm not a shifter. I'm stuck here, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't mind. I've been fortunate enough to read most of the scriptures of the balance, and that in itself is a rare privilege for a stalker like me. I don't have any more questions right now. If you do, please ask. I want to help, and that's the truth. How are things here? You mean in the cathedral? No, no, I mean here in Newport. How have things been going? Nothing out of the ordinary. Why? Have you been away? You could say that, yeah. It's just been hot and humid, and it's getting worse by the day. And apparently crime is on the rise. But what else is new? I have to run, Father. I hope to see you again soon, April. Please take care of yourself. And if you see Cortez, tell him to see me. Tell him that... that I've been worried. I really should go home and change into something that doesn't make me look like a medieval restorationist. I wonder what the homeless people do in the wintertime. Supposedly, it gets biting cold here in Newport. And I don't know if there are any shelters anymore. It's closed again? That's 
the second time in two weeks, and this time there's not even a sign. What's going on here? April, run! Get out of here! Why? What's the... Run, April, now! I wouldn't listen to her if I were you. Move over there. I said move! Emma, who's this man? Tell me what's going on! Who are you? What do you want? He's just following orders, Miss Ryan. He's just a servant. My servant. I was hoping you would join our little... party. You're a very difficult person to find, Miss Ryan. A very difficult person to find. What are you doing to my friends? If you cooperate, nothing. Nothing permanent, at any rate. But if you make this any harder than it has to be, I will have your friends shot. All of them. What do you... Do I know you? I know you. I've seen your face somewhere. My name is Halloway. Gordon Halloway. I work for Jacob McAllen, who I am certain you have heard of, yes? He runs the Church of Voltec, also known as the Vanguard. He has been insisting on meeting you, Miss Ryan. Of course, we were not sure who you were at first, but we knew we would find you in Venice. You did give us a run for our money, I must admit. Your shift a week ago today made it a lot easier, but then you decided to stay out of town for a while. Smart. Coming back, though, was rather stupid. What do you want from me? We want you, and what you carry with you. We have our connections in Arcadia. We know of your journey north. Good job on our friend Mr. Klax, by the way. Good job. Very impressive. Of course, not to mention the fine work you did on that Gribbler creature. She was not very cooperative. She just refused to listen to reason. But she was a twisted old girl, and we respected that. Unfortunately, we lost track of you once you set out to sea. The Tyran are not very comfortable with water, and so there was no chance of sending anyone after you. However, with your good fortune and, shall we say, good breeding, I am certain you brought some valuable items back with you. I would expect no less from a bright and industrious girl such as yourself. So, give me what you have and let us be done with this nasty business. I will let your friends go and then you and I will go on a little trip. There's nothing I have that you could possibly want. Leave that decision to me, Miss Ryan. Just hand it all over and we can let these fine people return to their pathetic little lives. You have caused them enough pain, yes? But first, we still need to teach you and your friends a lesson. Shoot that one. going on? That's my neighbor, Zach Lee. Another shining example of the male animal. With the emphasis, in this case, on the animal. Get out of my way, Zach! Where are you going, April? Don't you know the game's up? What game, Zack? They're trying to kill me. They just shot Emma. Who did? The agents, the Vanguard. But... 
But they said, they said they weren't really gonna hurt nobody. They were just gonna... They said? What do you mean? You spoke with them? No. I mean, they were just gonna arrest you and... You bastard! You sold me out? You killed Emma? Do you know that? You killed my best friend! I... I didn't... Zack, are you... shit! Open up! If you don't open, we'll break down the door. Let's do it. Take it down. Oh god, this is not gonna be fun, but I don't have a choice. Close your eyes, April! Shit! It's the second half of the piece of the stone disc entrusted to the Elation and the Merum a long time ago. It's the Blue Dragon's Eye Jewel. It's obviously a map of constellations, and that cross must be where the gateway to the Guardian's Realm is located. Where that is, I have no idea. It's the piece of the stone disc I got from the Dark People. Who's there? I know somebody's there. I can hear you. Nah, probably just a sewer rat. Sewer rat? I got my body back. That was a close call, though. If I'd been caught, don't want to think about what would have happened. What's that? The mystery door. It's open. Moby Dick, Oliver Twist, The World According to Garb, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, The Holy Bible. Warm and cozy. I don't know who she is, but she does look vaguely familiar. Welcome, April Ryan. I won't ask how you know my name, but who are you? The Lady Olvane is my name now. And where am I? What's this place? This is my home. The house of all worlds. This is Arcadia? It looked like I passed through a shift, but it didn't feel... It felt different. Not like shifting. It's similar to shifting, except that you did not pass through dreams, and you're not in Arcadia, nor in Stark. This place is between and everywhere. But don't worry. You are safe from your pursuers, for the moment. Did you bring me here? You brought yourself here. But yes, I opened a doorway for you. Why? Because that's how the story goes, April. You escape. You outrun your pursuers, and your journey continues. 
It's been written, and we cannot change that now. Lady Elvane, I appreciate your help, but I'm so tired of hearing about my destiny and about prophecies. I've lost a good friend today, and... She's not dead. What? What did you say? Emma's not dead. She was hurt, but not killed. Oh, thank God. Are you sure? I'm quite certain. She is on her way to the hospital as we speak. But the others, Charlie, Fiona, they're angry at you. They blame you for Emma's pain and for not letting them in on the truth. They should blame me. I brought it all to them. The violence, the chaos. I've hurt so many people since this all started. And yet, at the time, it all seemed justified. It was. The fate of the many depend on the sacrifice of the few. Your sacrifice most of all. You've made so many, and you'll have to make many more before this is all over. Will it ever be over? Eventually. The pain won't go away, though. You'll keep that with you forever. I don't know if I can go on. It's so hard. Listen to me, April. You must go on. You must be brave. They all depend on... on you. And you can do it. You can get through this. Just remember what's important and what's not. Remember who your friends are and trust them. Let them help you. I already did that, and look where it got them. So, somebody gets hurt. That doesn't mean you can give up. I want you to go to Mercuria to see for yourself how those who are not willing to surrender are holding up. You can learn from their courage. I can't go there. I can't shift. People tell me I have this... This talent, but it's not true. If I can't use it, what good is it? But you have used it twice already. April, child, you must learn to believe in yourself and your abilities. Use what you know, what you do best, to focus your magic. What I do best? You mean painting? If that's what you do best, then yes. Use that as a focal point. After a while, you won't even need that. But it's a beginning. What about the other things I have to do? What about the Guardian? The Vanguard are holding Adrian, the Guardian, captive. But they still don't know where the entrance to the Guardian's realm is located. Shouldn't I free Adrian immediately? Go first to Mercuria. The doorway will bring you there. If you go straight back to Stark, the Vanguard will find you. Thanks, Lady Alvane. I'm not going to ask you how you know everything you just told me, because I'm not sure I want to know. Good luck on your journey ahead, April. I will keep my fingers crossed for you. Maybe I'll see you again. Oh, I'm quite certain of that. Quite, quite certain. It's deserted, and from the looks of the place, I'd say they left in a hurry, too. The doors are locked and bolted. I guess the Sentinel have decided to skip town with the rest of the population. Enter, honored guest, and I would have been with you presently.
I'm glad to see you're okay, Abnaxus. Should I not have been okay, April Ryan? I wasn't sure. Everybody else has left town. Yes, most everyone did. A war is coming. Shouldn't you be leaving too, then? I am, after I see you again. You shouldn't be putting yourself in danger for my sake, Abnaxus. Then, for the sake of the balance, you will find three stones, yes? I did, yeah. Just missing one now. Here, yeah, this was the stone of the Venar entrusted to me. I was to take this to Mercuria and there hold embassy until the Kanangla will come to take it from me. You had this the whole time? Why didn't you tell me before? To have been carrying this on your journey will be too risky, April Ryan. You have it now. Four stones to make one. Now my task is done, and the veil is upon me. There is only the present and the past now. Only those two, not the future. The veil is upon us all, April Ryan. I must leave for my people to be with them in this time of darkness. Thank you for your help, Abnaxus. I will miss you. And I you, April Ryan. May the balance bless you. May the balance bless and protect us all. I figured you'd still be here, Brian. April bloody Ryan. <laughs> well, what do you know? It's it's good to see you, girl. <coughs> now get the hell out of Mercuria before the shit hits the fan. You're not leaving, are you, Mr. Westhouse? I I guess I'm not. I always was an idiot. <laughs> you're not an idiot, Mr. Westhouse. Brian, you're just fighting for something you believe in, something you care about. I don't care a whittle about this bloody town. I think you do. I think you care a lot, but you hate to admit it. Yeah, well... I built this house with my own two hands, you know. First thing I ever did that I was proud of. Real proud of. I ain't about to leave it to those damn tyrant trolls waltzing in here under the pretense of defending their borders. It's the vanguard holding their leash, be sure of that. What are you gonna do when they get here? Hmm? I got an old gun locked up in the pantry. Enough bullets to take down at least mm, two dozen of those goblins. <laughs> I'm going down fighting, that's for sure. You'll be fine, I'm sure of that. Just leave the bottle be until the victory party, okay? Ah, uh, <clears throat> don't worry about that, girl. That's my last batch of real whiskey. All I got left now is bloody Mercurian wine. And believe me, you don't want to get drunk on that. <laughs> I believe you. Just take care of yourself, Brian. Take real good care. And you, Miss Ryan. I'll be keeping my fingers crossed for you. And if you ever come back this way, I promise to visit you, of course. Goodbye, Brian. 
You still around, goddammit? Now get going! Get out of Mercuria now! The dragon's mouth is pointing straight down at the middle of the floor. something's gone wrong. It's a circular hollow about 20 centimeters across and about 5 centimeters deep. Don't tell me. You need help with something you can't get to. Nice to see you, too. Why so cynical? Because it seems like the only times you call me is when you need me to do something. It's never to say, Hello, Crow. What have you been up to? Or, Hey, just wanted to let you know how much I love you. Sorry. There's just so much on my mind I forget to treat my friends right. Friend? I'm your friend. Whatever you need me to do, babe, I'm there. Something's preventing that stone dragon's mouth from opening completely. Could you check it out? That's it? <laughs> Easy! Yeah, 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 I, I see what's wrong here. When was the last time they cleaned this thing? There's pigeon sh uh, there's pigeon crap all over it. Some of it's so old it's almost petrified. Great. Peck it off. Peck it? Uh, no. No, 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 no. No, that's, that's disgusting. Nobody told me I was gonna be pecking pigeon crap when I joined up for this adventure. Crow? Peck it off. Yikes! So you're still here? Eh? Oh, it's just you. If you have come to use the library, I I'm afraid I must disappoint you. We're all very busy today. Very busy indeed. Don't worry, I didn't come by to do any reading today. Good. With the Tyrant army approaching, we don't have much time. Is Vestrum Tobias around? Oh, goodness. You do not know? I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but Tobias, he's dead. Murdered. No, by whom? 
We don't know, but we suspect Vanguard agents, of course. In the chaos of the evacuation, the soldiers had their hands full, making sure no one was trampled, and that looters were promptly apprehended. When we visited the temple after everyone had left, there were so many books and valuable artifacts we wanted to bring here for safekeeping. We found Tobias by the mules he loved so dearly. He'd been stabbed in the heart, and from the looks of it, he didn't resist much at all. He probably even knew his assailant. Why Tobias? He was the kindest, gentlest man I've ever known. Always helpful, always ready to listen. I'll really miss him. So will all of us. He was a great man, and a great Vestrum, and we will never see another like him. But unfortunately, there were many who disagreed with his views, and the Vanguard... Well, they would be happy to see the end of him for good. Another reason for doing everything we can to stop them. Shouldn't you be leaving the city? Leaving? No, I'm staying here with my fellow Minstrom. The Enclave is our life and our home. And we're not letting the Vanguard and the Tyran army drive us away. But we will defend ourselves. With what? Books? We may look harmless, but don't judge a book by its cover. There are many of us who are skilled at magic. I can throw a pretty mean ball of fire myself. We even have swords and bows. And a few of us are well-versed with deadly weaponry. So, we won't be easily defeated, trust me. What's the rusty wheel downstairs for? The wheel? Oh, yes, the wheel. That's used for draining the water out of the pool. Good luck. And to you, the same. Excuse me? Yes? Do you know why the drainage wheel is stuck? Goodness, it is. Uh, oh, why, yes, of course it is. We keep the sluices locked so that the pool is not drained by accident. Could you unlock it for me? Certainly. Uh, but why? Because I need to drain the pool. Goodness me, you do? Very well, I will unlock the sluices. The disk of the balance, key to the Guardian's realm, forged in dragon's fire from the four stones I collected on my journey across Arcadia. And a pretty sweet paperweight as well. It's the complete and assembled stone disk, forged by the fire of a dragon and chilled in the cool waters of the Sentinel Enclave. It's an army heading this way, and they've got the road blocked. Where's a shift when you need one? I'm in real trouble here. Come on, shift, shift. I did it last time I was scared out of my mind, and I don't feel any safer now. It's not working. I'm just gonna have to hide out in the... Oh! Saved by the bell. Again. I'm like the Incredible Hulk, except my powers only work when I'm scared silly. That's the second time I've opened a shift by instinct alone when I've been in mortal danger. The frustrating thing is, I still don't know how to do it when I'm not scared. Wait, didn't the old lady say I should use what I do best to focus my talents? Is running away really what I do best? Come to think of it, why did the shift dump me here? wasn't even thinking about the studio.
Strange. It almost looks as if my painting has changed since the last time I was here. The colors are more vivid, more real. Mm, it's still got a way to go before it resembles anything. The old woman, Lady Elvane, was it? She said something about using my craft to focus my powers, to learn how to open a shift at will. I guess it's worth a try. I did it! On my own, I did it! April. Oh, Mother. What's wrong with you? Touch me, April. Hmm. What's happening to you, Mother? I am dying, April. But you can't die. You're the... The Mother, the White Dragon. You're eternal. Aren't you? The Mother is, April. But I am not. It is time for the new to replace the old, for the seed to grow into a flower, and for the withered and the grey to turn to dust and pass on into the ages. Help me understand, please. Take my blue eye, the crystal. You need it. But I can't. Take it, quickly. Thank you. Please don't go. I am tired. The war with chaos has taken its toll on me. I wish I could have seen my children grow up. When will the egg hatch? When I die and turn to dust. Be here, then, to witness the new mother. I promise. Be who you are, April. Do not be afraid of that. Who am I? My daughter. My own daughter. but I can do it. Ironic as it may be, though, I think I've done all I can do in Arcadia. I have the two Arcadian dragon's eye jewels, the disc, and the star map. Now I need to find the guardian, the two missing jewels, and somebody who can help me decipher the star map, and I have to look for those things here, in Stark. It's the fake ID girl. Hold on. You got it? Where you been, man? I've been holding on to this for a week now. Yeah, a week. What's the trouble? I paid up front. What's the trouble? What's the fucking trouble? The trouble is, baby, this thing's hot. It sizzles, man. They catch it with the shit on my hands, they give me 20 at least. 
Like you wouldn't get twice that for any of the stuff you have in here. Yeah, but that's mine, man. Mine. My problem. This here is yours. Shit, take it. I don't want it anymore. What up? That's all. My own mid and upper level ID card. A girl's best friend. I never imagined I'd one day be carrying one of these babies. Not unless I married a lawyer, a doctor, or a screen repairman. Any chance of you deciphering this for me? Hmm. Looks old. This old? It looks old. It's gotta be old. What do you do, rip off a museum or something? Cause I'm cool with that. It was a gift. Would you be able to calculate the coordinates of that... cross based on the positions of the stars? Shouldn't be a problem, as long as this thing's accurate. I'll just do some chem trace tests. See when it was made, and then figure out the rotation of the constellations and calculate the... Yeah, sure. And what's it gonna cost me? This time? You still got credit from the AG unit you gave me. Works like a fucking charm, I'll tell you, baby. It's hot, I can float like the wind, duds. Mmm, even with two people on at the same time, oh yeah. I, I don't wanna know that. So, when can I get the results? Can't do the chem tests here, but I'll call a friend of mine, owes me a favor. Come back later, yeah, yeah, later, much later. Sure. And hey, don't wait a week this time. Got it. I am sorry, but this bingo instant pizza maker has been shut down by order of the Newport Department of Biological Warfare. About time, too. If you or anyone in your immediate family has enjoyed a delicious bingo instant pizza recently, please report to an area hospital as soon as possible. Have a nice day. It's a bingo instant pizza machine. I never liked those things. They taste like artificially flavored cardboard boiled in grease. It's a pizza box. There's an empty pizza box in there. There's one piece of moldy pizza left inside this pizza box, and it seems to have chemically merged with the cardboard, so I'd better, um, keep it closed. Ugh, no! I can't believe they wouldn't let me on the shuttle just because my clothes stink and I look like a bum. I mean, considering what I've been through in this outfit, I'm surprised I look as presentable as I do. It's a list of today's departures to the orbiting stations. Most of these are bound for the Morning Star, an MTI-owned station in geostationary orbit above the city. 
she's one of those chirpily soulless plastic face sales reps specifically bred for one single-minded purpose. To make you sign a colonization contract. Those documents are just for show, to create a faux retro atmosphere and put the customer at ease. I mean, if they got paper around, they've got to be good people, right? Good morning, ma'am. How are you today? Aside from the fact that the fate of two worlds rests on my shoulders? Uh, yes? Just peachy, thanks. That's good. How may I help you today, ma'am? How does it feel working for the dark side? Pardon me, ma'am? I mean, it's slavery, isn't it? Certainly not. That's a popular misconception. In fact, our colonists are given the best of care, a job suited to their talents, and a full salary. You tell yourself that, if that makes it easier to sleep at night. That's all, thanks. Thank you, ma'am. Please come back and see us again. Rapture revisited. They're relaunching the original Amethyn drug. Oh, sorry. Stimulant. Twice as effective at half the cost. Time to usher in a whole new generation of drug addicts. They got the coolest clothes in that store. The coolest and most expensive. I saved for months to buy a pair of socks there once. The coolest pair of socks I ever had. I could definitely do with a change of clothes. And so what if this store's way out of my league? After what I've been through, I deserve to splurge a little. I look good, I feel good. Thank God they had a thermal shower in there. I needed a proper disinfection and delousing. I can literally feel the price of this outfit. Nice. Officer? Yes, ma'am? Can you direct me to the MTI building? Certainly. See that huge, massive, towering building over there? That's it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thanks. You're welcome, ma'am. Wow. It's a faux Roman palace. How very Las Vegas. <clears throat> Scary. I believe that circle with a big X through it is supposed to represent the destruction of the balance. These guys don't get around. Stunning. In a creepy neo-fascist way. Hush. Hi there, Jerry. Gerald. Do you have an appointment? I'm visiting a friend of mine. Oh, really? Then your name would be in my appointment diary, yes? Uh, I don't know. I don't really have an appointment. You don't say. And do you really have a friend in the building? No. Then I suggest you turn around and walk out of here, miss. This is a private building. How do I call the elevator? You do not. 
miss. I call it. All right, thanks. No, you misunderstand. I call it. For people who work in the building, or for those with appointments with the people who work in the building. You are... How shall I put this? Street vermin. A hooligan. Scum. You were homesick the day they taught diplomacy, weren't you, Jerry? Gerald, please leave the building. What floor is Jacob McAllen on? We do not have a Jacob McAllen working here, miss. Do you have any McAllens at all? I'm not picky. I am not about to divulge any private information to a person such as yourself. Good for you, Jerry. Gerald! It would be so nice if you left now, miss. Can I bribe you? I'm sorry. What? Pay you to let me slip by you unnoticed into the elevator? For goodness sake, miss, absolutely not. I am not your common low life. I'm sure even a stand-up guy like you, Jerry, needs some pocket change now and then. Gerald! And no, I do not. Now I would like you to leave. Immediately. Thank you very much, Jerry. <sighs> Gerald! And if you do not leave, miss, I will be forced to call the police. That's the only elevator in the building? I wonder what they do during rush hours. Got a pizza delivery for Mr. McAllen. Really? There's been no... Wait a second. Weren't you in here before? Me? Nah. Uh, been, been delivering pies to the, uh, to Venice. I, I ain't been up here before. Nice hood, clean pavements, good air. I could have sworn... Oh, very well. Give me the pizza and I will see to it that it's delivered to Mr. McAllen as soon as possible. No can do, guy. This has got to be delivered now, before it gets cold. You know how Mr. McAllen gets when his mozzarella is cold. <sighs> I can't very well leave my post, so... All right, all right. Step into the elevator and I will send you to Mr. McAllen's office. But I want you back down here pronto, do you understand? There's another elevator here, and apparently, it only goes up. I made it this far, and I'm not about to turn around now. I don't know what they're growing in these tanks, but whatever it is, it's disgusting. And alive! What is that? It looks... God, it looks human! I guess the Vanguard are growing these creatures for a purpose. Maybe soldiers? That's one war I'll do my best to prevent. That's an amazing view. I can see clear across the city. They're humanoid. There are documents scattered all over the desk. Papers. There's nothing here that... that's my... that's my name! And my address! Uh, obviously there's... God, they've been tracking me, watching me! Uh-oh! Who are the last?
last person I'd expect to find here, Shifter. I have spent an obscene amount of money and resources tracking you down. Since before we knew your name, before you even came to Newport. And then, you simply walk into my lap, like a mouse into a great big trap, looking for the cheese, I'd imagine. The Guardian, well, he's not here, I'm sorry to say. He's being held elsewhere, awaiting your directions. You do have them, yes? The directions to the Guardian's realm. Sorry, but I never managed to find the entrance to the Guardian's realm. Hmm. Pity, really. And I thought you'd done so well on your journey across Arcadia. At least you have the disc and the two jewels I'm missing in your possession. So, good of you to bring them here. I thought I might have to go pick them up myself. I have friends. Oh, you do. You do. The very best friends, too. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, girl. Did you really expect your good buddy Cortez to tell you the truth? Or to come to your rescue like a knight in shining armor? He's been using you. Tobias, Cortez, the bloody kin, all your friends. They've been using you for their own selfish reasons. They're no different from me, Shifter. No different at all. How have they been using me? The Sentinel. They say one thing, I say another. It's all subjective, isn't it? Does the fact that I want to reunite the worlds and allow mankind its true destiny sound like an evil deed? No, but the way you go about it... The way I go about it? What about the damned Sentinel? They've kept the truth from most people for millennia. They've buried the past and indoctrinated Arcadians into their own outdated faith. Now, you have been kept from the truth just as much as everyone, Shifter. You are just a piece in a grand game of chess. You're not even a big piece. You're a pawn. Now, give me the disc and the jewels, the dragon eyes. And then we can wrap this game up. I'm quite certain you know more than you let on about the Guardian's realm as well. I'll have that information too, very soon. I'm not giving you anything. I have an army of devoted soldiers in this building, Shifter. I run this city. What are you going to do? Round up a mob of your friends? Forget about shifting as well. There are magical barriers against that in this building. All right, I give up. Here's the disc and the jewels. You see, I wasn't lying to you, unlike some of your accomplices. You don't have a choice. You must give me what you have. Fine. Who the hell cares anyway? I'm exhausted and I'm... I give up. Cortez has abandoned me. I've hurt my two best friends in the world and... Maybe you're right. Maybe you're no different from the Sentinel. Maybe they're as bad as you, and maybe you deserve each other. It doesn't matter, you've won. What are you gonna do now? Let me guess. This is where the heroine 
Hmm, coaxes a confession from the villain before the final act of the play commences. Very well. I'm all for a satisfying denouement. What now? I have the Guardian, I have the disc, and the jewels, the key to the tower. And soon, if you play along like a nice little girl, I'll know where the gateway is. So you don't need me anymore? Apparently not. I thought I might, so I decided not to kill you. But now that I have the Guardian himself, your role in this game is... up. After you tell me what I need to know, of course. Then what will happen to me? Nothing. I'll let you go. You can do me no harm, and I'm not a cruel man. Not unusually so, at any rate. What happened to Cortez? Cortez... I had Gordon take care of him. He was just interfering too much for his own sake. There are rules, and he broke them. He brought you in to... He broke the rules. What will you do once you open the gateway to the Guardian's realm? Gordon Alloway will take the Guardian's place in the tower, and he will rule according to my plan. The worlds will be reunited, and the Earth will be one realm, as it was, and as it should be. So, this is all part of your master plan to rule the Earth? When you put it like that, I guess... yes. But I'll be a fair and just ruler, my dear. What's the point? You're like, what, 60? In another 60 years, you'll be dead, and then what? Leave the kingdom to your firstborn? <laughs> I'll be around a lot longer than 60 years. A lot longer. You really don't know me, do you? You really don't know anything about me. Apparently not. How did you get the other two jewels? I've had one of them for ages. The other came into my possession only a week ago, as luck would have it. And now I have the last two and the disc. Why didn't you go look for the jewels and the pieces of the disc yourself? <sighs> I would have. But my power over Arcadia has been disturbingly limited until now. The Tyran have proved a valuable addition to my disciples, and with their help, I've dispensed with most of my opposition in Arcadia. But still, locating the stones would have required the cooperation of the Sentinel. Now, I may be a charismatic man, but I doubt they would have told me anything. And those wretched, magical races, you think they would have cooperated? No. They were waiting for their savior, their prophecy come true. And you seem to fit the bill. Why not take advantage of that? As for the jewels, the white and the blue of the dry kin were not likely to submit to me. And that was a battle even I'd be well advised to avoid. But time is ticking, Shifter, and the wheel of the balance is turning. Please, enter the elevator to your right. I want to show you something. What do you think? What is it? This is the end result of the centuries of work and research the Vanguard have done. A breeding ground for shifters such as yourself. 
warrior shifters. So tell me, what do you think? Does it matter what I think? No. I'm just trying to be polite. Now, give me the disc and the jewels. And don't try anything this time. I might have to hurt you myself. I will ask this one last time, because I am a patient man. Where is the gateway to the Guardian's realm? And I'll say this one final time, because I'm a patient woman. Go screw yourself. That's all I needed to know. I'll leave you alone here for a while. When I come back, I'm sure you'll be a lot more cooperative. safe or containment chamber. Elevator locked. Hoverpad exit closed. Hoverpad exit. Such a good idea. Hey, uh, you wanna try discussing things over a hot cup of mocha instead of all this killing April business? It's not. Well, hell! some rough company, senorita. Better be more careful in the future, no? Where have you been? What? Were you worried? Yes! No, I mean, I was scared you were, you know, dead. So you care about me? Ave Maria Purissima. 
What am I going to do now without you telling me to get lost? Don't joke about this, Cortez. I've been in a lot of situations these past few days where I could have needed your help, but you weren't there. Perdóname. Forgive me, señorita. I've been indisposed. When I finally managed to escape my prison last night, I began looking for you. You left an interesting trail, I must say. What do you mean? For one, the border house, most of Venice for that matter, was under guard. There seemed to be some question as to how you managed to escape the vanguard agents. Magic. So I thought. You've been picking up a few pointers in Arcadia. I'm turning into quite the Girl Scout. It's amazing how resourceful you can be when you're in a bind. I see. I've noticed. How did the Vanguard capture you? With a small army, and with the help of a very dangerous man, Gordon Holloway. I met him, not the most personable guy in the world, and he could really do with some sun. Gordon is a... a creature of pure logic. He was split in two halves when he was a child, one bound to Stark, the other to Arcadia. The victim of terrible vanguard experiments, I'm afraid. The Chaos Vortex, right? That's him. He's magical and chaotic, half untethered. What some people would call his soul. Gordon would have been guardian had the vanguard not destroyed him. I heard the story. Can he still be guardian? The Vanguard believes so, but if he did become Guardian, he would twist and corrupt the balance to his own benefit. What the consequences would be, I fear to even think. Have you told me everything I should know, Cortez? About? About this. About everything that's happened to me in the past, say, week. I've told you all I can tell you. Yeah, sure. You know, I overheard a conversation between you and your friend, Father Raoul, and then McAllen. Jacob McAllen? He's here? He was. He released that mutant freak on me, so that I'd tell him where the gateway to the Guardian's realm is. Adios mio. We must get you away from here. He's a very dangerous... If it isn't a family reunion... I could smell your hand in this, brother. The Vanguard. Was this the extent of your originality? If you had to meddle in the affairs of mortals, would it not have been prudent to show a little subtlety? He seized the dragon and bound him for a thousand years. Free at last, brother? Thais I didn't picture you walking amongst men in a man's body with a man's name. McAllen. The balance must not have dealt you and yours with the best of hands. The balance will cease to be, brother. The scales will topple and the old walls will fall. The age of dragons is imminent, whether you join us or not. Join you? You symbolize all that I despise. You hate and fear these mortals so much, you bring on chaos to destroy them. But you will only succeed in destroying yourself. Our time will come eventually, but not by your doing. Are these worlds of mortals so important to you that you forget who you are? I never forgot who I am. That crime is yours alone, brother. What is this? There is still time. You are blood of my blood, kin to my kin. You are immortal dragon, and our destinies weigh the scales of the universe. Where do you get all those cliches, kin to my kin? Doesn't it ever bother you that you sound like a badly written play? Oh well, I will not miss your sarcasm, brother. It always felt a little strange.
Cortez! Cortez's watch stopped. Oh God, his heart. That's what Brian said. Cortez called it his heart. His heart has stopped. Cortez is dead. I can't believe that. It doesn't make sense because... Because... Everybody I love dies. Everybody I love. I can't leave without retrieving the disc and the jewels. Unlock containment chamber? I think yes. It's the complete and assembled stone disc, forged by the fire of a dragon and chilled in the cool waters of the Sentinel Enclave. And what, pray tell, took you so long? Excuse me. I'm talking to you. Stop. Screw you, Jerry. <gasps> Hello? Flipper? Oh. Oh my god, what happened to you? <coughs> they shot me. They took the fucking map. Who? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, but they, they promised me I'd walk again. Who did? Halloway, the Vanguard. I, I had a deal with them. Then uh, when, when you come back, I sent word they... <sighs> They wanted the map, information on it. They wanted you. You sold me out to the Vanguard? Oh, I'm so sorry. They threatened me with they. They said you can walk again or you can fucking die. Your choice. My choice. I understand. Just take it easy. Don't move too much. I'm gonna call the cops and then. No! <coughs> no, don't. I'm dying. I, they would. Just put me in jail. Listen to me, April. The map, it, I deciphered it. They took they took it with them everything, but I I made a copy. <coughs> Over there on the screen. What am I looking at? <coughs> I I played with the map you gave me. And though there was information missing, I <coughs> Why don't you just take it easy for a while? Don't say anything. Gotta... They took it. See the flashing cross? That, <clears throat> that's the destination on the map. Some kind of anomaly, I guess. <coughs> <coughs> Nothing about it in, in any data bank, but right next to it, there's a spaceport. The Morning Star. <coughs> Transfer terminal to the colonies, luxury hotels, casinos. <coughs> if you need to get to the position on the map, that that's the way to do it. Go to the Morning Star. Halloway was bringing bringing something with him up up there to the station. Uh, I heard them talking about it. it. Sounded important. The Guardian? It's got to be the Guardian. These guys are bad. The worst. You got to be careful. I'm fucking telling you. I'm the only chance we got. I know! Get him! Get up there to the Morning Star! Go to the Morning Star! Do what you have to do, now! I will. <coughs> I'm sorry. You okay, Flipper? 
flipper! Damn. Thanks, flipper. Welcome back, ma'am. How may I help you? I'd like to register as a colonist. Very good, ma'am. You won't regret this decision, I can assure you of that. I'm sure I will. In fact, I already do. Uh, yes, well, we'll do our best to find the perfect colony for your tenure, after you fill out a simple multiple-choice form and... Why not just call it slavery? I mean, that's what it is, isn't it? Oh, no, ma'am, certainly not. Our colonists are given the best of care and a full salary to go with their assigned tenure. Whatever, I just need to get on a ship that'll take me through to the Morning Star Transfer Station. We do have a ship leaving this evening with colonists bound for Bukamba 8, and that does stop at the Morning Star. But I'd suggest you go through our pamphlets. Sign me up for... what was it? Bukamba 8? That's where I want to go. Uh, all right, ma'am. If you would just hand me your Newport ID card and place your right thumb on that black square, we can get you registered. There. That's it, ma'am. You're registered. Now, if you just take your baggage... No baggage. Nothing, ma'am? Well, you will receive everything you need when you get to the colony, so no problem. Just head up to gate number one and wait in our lounge. And I have to remind you that if you choose not to board your ship this evening, you will have committed a corporate offense, and you will be subject to imprisonment. And a nice day to you, too.